Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are going to create a counter app with the React.js and TypeScript. So we need to create a project for that. So we are going to type then counter app and then the template is TypeScript. So for this TypeScript, we need to type here TypeScript. Okay. So it will take, uh, take a while while installing the packages. So we, we will have to wait for that VS code so I'm going to open a terminal here and then we can say that right uh, npm start so it should be open open this uh, counter app on our browser so it's being opened so we see a blank React chase and TypeScript project here. So you see that this page by default. So I'm going to click on source and then click on app store app dot and then I think I don't need uh, logo for now and I don't need um, this import. So I'm going to remove everything from here. And now I'm going to create a functional component. So before that, we, we will need a state from React. So use the state, make sure the spelling is correct, and then we'll type here type counter state. So it will be a number type. So you can see that. So you can write here count and then the number. And then we will type here the functional component. So const app equal. So as it will be a functional component, we can write here write uh, React dot FC functional component, and then we'll have our function here. Okay. It's now it should be a blank. I'm going to check on um, check the result here. So you can see it's totally blank, right? So we will define a state here, in the variable. So we can say here const state, then set state, and then use a state, and then you can type this counter state here, and then the default value is count is zero. So now we are going to write our code here. So we will have a div. Uh, we will have a div for showing the div or the h2 tag. So h2 tag, and then so this is the counter, right? So count counter, and then we'll say that we'll see this state dot count. So it will be by default zero so you will see a zero here right and then we will um, type here button and then when it will be click so one click it should be uh, uh, so so there will be decrement increment and the reset so we will um, we will define a function here like decrement D E C R E M E N T decrement and it's not defined yet but we will find it later so we can just simply uh, define this function here so const decrement equal a error function so we will do set a state what it will, what it will be do like um, so it will have a count right so count and then a state dot count then minus one okay so whatever the value is then this um, this will just decrement one by one and we will also define another function name increment and crement and it will be just plus this is simple guys so we will set the state right so one is plus one and one is minus one and then we will just simply define this one 
so we can say here that that this one is increment so plus sign and then we will will see that it will increment one by one and it will go uh, minus one by one so and we will have a, a button like reset and then this reset will um, what we can say just to reset and then define a function here like uh, reset and wherever it's uh, it will be reset the state value will be zero okay that sounds good so then uh, we, if we uh, just increase decrease and reset the whatever the value is just it will um, it will just show the zero and the reset the value to zero okay so, so this is very simple so you can uh, maybe stylize something like that so margin uh, or just margin right so margin right I say 20 pixel and margin left I say margin left say 20 pixel okay. so you'll see some gap here so same style you can follow here or you can you can just uh, use class whatever you want you can do so simply this is 